Another year, another YouTube controversy. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Now, before I even start this video, I just want to say, hello, maybe <laughs> sub to the channel if you are new. If you have found this video somehow, some way, please sub to the channel. We are trying to get to 500 subs by the end of the year. Let's get this bread. Let's get it! Everybody on the platform has been talking about the mystery brand scam with Jake Paul and Rice Gum and Morgs. Now, I'm not going to be one of those people that does a video about the story and goes through and reveals all the facts. There are plenty of other YouTubers out there, much better than I am, that have already done that. So, by all means, go watch their videos, get informed about what the story is and why everybody is just so angry. This video is just going to ask the question, it's a question that really does need to be asked, I feel. Um. Why do YouTubers keep falling for scams? Why do YouTubers keep promoting scams? And why do YouTubers think it's okay to scam their audience? If you have not heard of the mystery prize situation, um, first of all, where have you been for the past two days? Second of all, basically, it's like, uh, it, it's like real life loot boxes that are being promoted to children. YouTubers like Jake Paul, Rice Gum, Morgs, they have all copped massive criticism over the past few days due to their participation in the Mystery Brand promotion. Now, Mystery Brand is basically a website where you, you buy prizes and you don't know what the prizes are and like you can pay maybe like $20, $50, $200 in the hopes that you're gonna get like some sick hot shoes or a, a massive mansion in LA that's worth $250 million that's not actually owned by the website. Or you could totally crap out and get an icicle, which, first of all, how the frig are you gonna ship an icicle? Uh, in some ways, maybe it's good to win the icicle because you could possibly get a fridge or like a cooler box to come with it. I don't know, so there's a whole bunch of prizes that you can win. It's like totally fun. It's totally gambling as well. And all of these guys have had this in their video and said, look guys, check it out, I'm doing so well. Despite the fact that they were playing on a rigged version. And then they're like, hey, check out all my swag, bro. You wanna get this swag too? Go to Mystery Brand, chuck a whole bunch of money in and you can maybe win some swag too. Sure. <laughs> so the massive criticism came not so much for what the site is, but the fact that this was being promoted to children, two content creators in particular that have a massive audience in the child demographic, and also the fact that YouTube actually placed Rice Gum's video on the trending page. <sighs> So everybody's been making videos exposing this company. There have actually been videos dating back to September and October where other YouTubers have outed this as being a total scam. Don't fall for it. And now here we are in 2019 and these YouTubers have either fallen for the scam or they've just completely disregarded that, hey, this is an obvious scam, but don't worry about it because uh, I'm going to get kids to give this place money and then I get money. And here we are with Hellfire and Brimstone raining down upon us. Now, when you first look at the website, if you are a rational human being, let's say an adult for an example, you see the fact that the site's incomplete, you see that the site is in like really strange broken English, and you see all these items that are worth a lot of money and you wonder, hmm, how can this little crappy website have all of these things to give away? Hmm. Oh wait, they don't. So if you have a functioning brain, you can look at this and say, this is a total scam. I don't want any part of it. But apparently some people that haven't looked at this the same way are Jake Paul and Rice Gum. They either looked at this and said, ha, ha, shut up and take my money. I've got plenty of it. Or they said, hmm, this is kind of shady, but most of my audience are kids and they're not gonna know the difference. So let's just, Let's just do it. Now, I'm not one to speculate, but if the second option was the case, and these guys said, hmm, I think I can get away with this, with a massive online commentary community like we have here on YouTube, how in the heck did you think that you would get away with that? Now, this actually comes on the back of another scam. I don't know if you remember back a few months ago, there was the whole Kenza Cosmetics scam. That was involving Tana Mojo and Gabby Hanna. These YouTubers were passing off really crappy, quality makeup brushes as being worth 90 to 100 dollars a pop and they were saying to everybody take them take them they're free you get 90 dollars worth of makeup brushes for free this is such a great scam i mean deal deal this is a great deal this is a great deal go go check it out and much like the mystery brand scam the covers were completely 
taken off, all the tea was spilt, everybody that ordered the brushes either didn't get them, or when they got them they said, oh, these are really cheap, and then other YouTubers did videos and they revealed that these brushes are actually worth $2 and not $89.99, like promoted in the videos. Hmm, another case of YouTubers lying. I want to know something, and by all means I want people to comment in the comment section below what they think as well. Um... YouTubers have a big audience. Yep, that's pretty obvious. Um, YouTubers make money, which is good. YouTubers should be able to make money any way that they can. Trust me, if somebody was to come to my door and say, I'm gonna give you $100 if you say that a big chunk of this is the worst meme of 2018, uh, first of all, that's false, but I would do it because I want to make money. Now, my problem is the way that they're going about making this money. Now, the mystery brand and Kenza cosmetic scandals we're obvious scams. It's a really worrying sign that something can just be so obviously a scam, but the people promoting these, mm, they don't really seem to care. Now, I, as I mentioned before, there's a possibility of a few things happening. Number one, they're just oblivious to the fact and they just have no idea, which I have a hard time believing, first of all. Um, second of all, uh, guys like Jake Paul and Rice Gum have a media team, they have agents, they have PR teams. They should have people to look over everything, go through it with the proverbial fine tooth comb, if you will, and just make sure that everything is 100% legit so nobody's gonna get in trouble. That's what should be happening. But then again, these guys are adults and they should be held accountable for their own business deals. They're probably in the mindset of, I'm an adult, I can make my own deals, I can write my own checks, I can break my own necks, I'm a responsible adult, I'll do it myself. Either one of these options, very worrying, and it doesn't bode well for the future of other creators that want to do these brand deals, that want to have endorsements, that want to make extra cabbage, it actually might end up like the adpocalypse all over again, where one or two instances of people just doing the wrong thing has just ruined it for everybody, and nobody's going to get brand deals, or brand deals are super limited, or I don't know, whatever, something else is going to happen. It's 2019, bro. Honestly, anything can happen. I'm telling you that right now. But no matter what scenario is in play here, um, why do these YouTubers think that either promoting a scam or being part of a scam is a good idea and why do they think they can get away with it? People nowadays are so much more savvy than they were a few years ago. They've got literally anything they need to go out and search and do research on their own. But it's kind of a worrying sign that these YouTubers are not doing the research themselves or are not acknowledging the fact that other people are gonna go out and do the research for them and all the juicy details of said scam are revealed. At the end of the day, they're just like, oh, well, I uh, didn't know that. Oops, oops, sorry. Look, just because your audience is a whole bunch of children doesn't mean that you can just do whatever you want, okay? That is a severe breach of trust, and it really does not paint a good picture for the YouTube community, for everybody else, and the outside community, because this storyline is actually picking up mainstream attention. It's just gonna bring a whole bunch of negative press into the YouTube world, and People are just gonna be questioning, well, why, why are my children trusting these online personalities? I trust them enough to let my children watch them unattended, and they're being told they can go on this website and gamble and hopefully win a big fat mansion or a super slick pair of Yeezys, all the while they're spending hundreds of V-Bucks or <laughs> mum's credit card money. Very irresponsible that these YouTubers are not considering this fact, or if they are considering this fact, they're ignoring this fact. And what, how do you think that's a good idea? Like, why do you think that's a good idea? I know you're making a whole lot of money for it, uh, but guess what? You, uh, it's probably not gonna be worth it in the end because the negativity and the controversy that's gonna come your way, it's not gonna be worth 100,000 Gs or however much you were offered for doing this thing. But it's like, how do you look at that and say that's a good idea? Like, where are the agents? Where are the PR people? Where's Greg Paul? Where's FaZe Bank? Where are these people that can say, hey, um, guys, this is stupid, don't do it. You guys have this thing called an image and your image at the moment is not the best. So doing this, probably not good for that image and in some cases might be career damaging. So why are you doing this? Don't be greedy, don't be stupid, don't do it. That's my advice. That's advice from an Australian YouTuber with no influence or clout at all. That's just me <laughs> giving out some real life advice, man. If you want some real life advice, hit me up on Twitter. I'm always gonna be there for it. So again, it just goes back to the point of, um, why do you think this is a good idea? How do you expect this to work? Or 
if you can't see this as a bad idea, um, why not? Uh, why don't you have people here helping you and telling you that this is a bad idea? And why are you doing it? Don't do it. So, I don't know, Jake Paul, Rice Gum, Gabby Hanna, Tanner, whoever, Young Noodle Arm, stop being irresponsible, okay? So, if you can't see this thing as a bad idea, well, I would severely suggest that you take a long, hard look in the mirror and say, gambling's not for kids. You're not gonna win a house, you're not gonna win an icicle, you're not even gonna win a leftover pumpkin from Halloween. You're not gonna win anything from Mystery Brand, so stop it, stop it. I don't know, it's very, it's very confusing, it's very disappointing. Uh, I expect more from my content creators just personally, but maybe I've got lofty expectations, I don't know. Well, that is the, well, that's it from me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't be shy. Drop a comment down below, slap a like on the vid, share the channel, sub to the channel, do whatever you feel. Uh, don't fall for any scams while I'm away. Uh, I'll be watching, don't worry about that. I'll know, I will know if you've done it. I will know. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I just find it so funny, like, I think it's hilarious that, like, this, you know, gambling thing is the current, you know, topic of discussion right now. It's, like, a big deal, but it's just, like, the same type of video. The same type of video, like, three months ago. No one said anything. It wasn't a problem back then. Look, look, look. All these guys right here, right? They're in David Dobrik's crew, whatever. They're influential. Got kid fans. Same thing. Open up boxes. This was three weeks ago, way before I was doing it. Why did no one bring it up three weeks ago or even talk about these guys? This... Like, what was I thinking? Like, I can't really do much because I already did it. The damage has been done. You guys already saw a money hungry side of me and it is what it is. And there's nothing I can really do but say sorry and give you these Amazon gift cards. So.